Boolean is a primitive data type for representing one of only two possible values, true or false. And you can assign Boolean variable to the results of a logical expression which evaluates to either true or false. Boolean is sometimes referred to as a flag and it's good practice to make the Boolean variable name sound like a true or false question. For example, Boolean is subscribed, meaning are you subscribed to this channel? And you can set that to either true or false. So let's try out some examples of Boolean variables. So we can create a Boolean variable that looks like this. Boolean is subscribed. Equals false. And we can simply, you know, use that in if else statement. We're saying if is subscribed. Print out that out that print line thanks for watching else you should subscribe so let's see what happens let's run the program and it says you should subscribe because is subscribed is set to false notice that the name of the boolean variable sounds like a question is subscribed that sounds like it should be true or false. And then if, if this described was true, it would tell you, thanks for watching. And notice that you can just stick a Boolean variable right inside of an if parentheses, because this has to evaluate to either true or false. And a Boolean can only be true and false, so it works that way. Let me show you guys another example of booleans by creating a boolean flag and this is what they mean by a flag let's say you, the temperature was represented as int temperature and it was 80 degrees now what we could do is write boolean is hot outside and set that to temperature greater than 75 it looks a little bit strange, and but this is a Boolean expression. This can only evaluate to true or false. And since it's true because the temperature is 80, it assigns is hot outside to true. And this is referred to as a Boolean flag, and we can use this to simply check if is hot outside. And if it is, you can print out thanks for watching or let's go to the beach and let's go to the beach and thanks for watching